So a lot of you have been asking me for quite a while now for some kind of behind the scenes of my shop. Today is probably the day I'm going to give it to you because we have a special task today. I don't know if you can see behind me, but this is how the living wall is currently looking. It's not bad, is it, Ben? It looks pretty nice. It's pretty good. It's fared really well. Yeah. We've had quite a few issues with the wall, which I might let Ben explain, actually, because it would be a hell of a lot easier. First of all, I'll just give you a quick tour. Not a tour, obviously, because you may have already seen the tour, but recently we did some rearranging. Sorry, this is my camera rig that's uh, just chilling. I normally strap that camera onto here to film my videos. This is my really messy table that I do reflux on. It's looking good, isn't it? Mm, Everything's really nice. in its place. It's looking pretty thickening. I'm getting a bit full, dude. Aren't we? It's not, it's not great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously though, we filled this up. First launch, we've done, fell, filled yep. it up. We could have probably gone twice the size. I kind of wish we did. Mm. To be honest, I kind of wish we did. So, among a few things, we're patching up the living wall today, which actually includes the bottom box. This bad boy here came out of the bottom box. We had some issues, so we've had to take everything out while we sort out the water and a leak as well. We had that, didn't we? We did. This is one of the things we took out. This is Philodendron Plamanii. It's flowering. And I think we're probably going to fuck it. So if we can get right in that. Putting it in the wall. I think we're going to screw that flower up, but... Uh, well, we'll see. The only thing big enough for him to chill in was the <laughs> was a whole bucket full of lecker. So he's coming out of it today. I can't actually see roots around the side. He's gonna go back in the wall. What else have we got? Sorry, it's kind of a shit tip in here. This boy came out of the wall as well. In fact, this is a clusterfuck of things that were in the wall, isn't well, I it? What that one? I've forgotten what it's called. That's this is Philodendron Weeks Red. Weeks Red, that's it. Tip him up. He's red on the back. He's yeah, got he's loads of extra nice. florals here as well. He's nice. Yeah. He's a nice boy. A little bit of gloriosum down here that's just been hiding. Some of the plants have suffered slightly in here. A wee bit. You know, you know what we could do? Tip. <laughs> <laughs> People are going to judge us so hard, but I'm debating taping that. Yeah, make it look nice, yeah. So there's a totem from upstairs that started to climb and I didn't know what to do with it. It's currently, it's not even potted up, it's just sat in soil. This looked great, if you guys remember it, a while ago. It was a beautiful alocasia golden bone and it was really big and pretty. However, was that a spider? Fuck you. Due to the problems with the wall and coming out of the wall, it's just got a bit shit. Yeah. So I think we'll put it back in, but I'll probably cut this foliage right here because it's so gangly now. I reckon just cut it down and grow it back. Agreed. Do you think? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Uh, what else have we got going on the wall today? I think I have to pick some stuff out. Oh, if anyone wants to know, this is what became of the oblique. I did mention this on a video a while back, but long story short, the biob really did a number on the oblique and when we got it out, I think we cut it in half. We do have the other half of this. This is half of the plant. We took it out. The other half is in a, a plastic bag at the minute and we've had to grow this one back in this little terrarium and it is growing. It's actually rooted on the pole. I don't know if you're going to be able to see through the glass, but it is growing pretty well and it's greened back up. But honestly, I thought it was a goner. Yeah, it was pretty ropey, wasn't it? Never again, yeah. never again. Um, so that's that anyway, just to explain why there's a random box with an obliquer in it. Because people do ask me for updates on that all the time and I just haven't said anything. We've added this onto the side of the wall, just because why not? It's not fixed, it's just, well, I say that, it's probably gonna, dude. It probably has done already, I think. It probably will, yeah. Aerials, yeah. So today's task, there is a little bit of wiring to be done, but that's later on. We are going to patch this up. I'm gonna pick out some stuff. I'll take you around when I do. I have no idea what we're going to put on. Some big juicy anthuriums maybe? I think so, yeah. So in terms of patching, before we explain the issues that we've had, this isn't so bad, actually. This down here is a bit shit. Yeah. I would say bit. this is a bit shit. Okay. Um, very dark. I know. I don't know what we're going to do about that. So there's, mm. there's bits and bobs here. Obviously, this is like previous damage from a few pH issues we had. I did ask you guys on a video recently, like, do you care if I trim it on camera? Like, what do you want to see? And then everyone was just like, just, just show us everything. Just show us all of it. So I haven't actually trimmed it. This is some of the old damage here. Patchiness, it's not that bad. You kind of have to, if we move back a bit, it looks worse than it is. When you get up close to the wall, it looks really patchy. But when you yeah. actually stand further back, Back here, if you move back, it's not that bad. Up here, this is where a massive, uh, well, it's not Chamberlain AI, is it? No, it was uh, 
I think it's a beach, yeah, crossed with a chamberlain, yeah, potentially. Think? I think so, yeah. So basically this big massive plant is still alive, it's just obviously grown smaller and the old leaves have dropped off, but that's a big gap to fill. We'll have to tackle the bottom separately, I think. Mm. But I reckon we'll do that after we have patched it. Yeah. It's not terrible, is it, really? It's, it's not too bad. It needs a bit of a trim, it needs some stuff here and there, probably some anthurium. I don't know what philodendron we can put on. We've, it's not like we're, we're short of them, but... Yeah, so I think it's a good idea that you explain what's been happening. All right, so what we've had problem-wise is we've had leakage from the, the liner, for starters. So that was pissing water out through the front, but it kind of looked like a slow leak. What else did we have? Um, pH the house. The pH the house was... Yeah, that was a bit of a mess. I don't think we were really testing it or, or checking on the nutrient levels. So I think that had gone to jam with too many salts in this, we've had to drain that and flush it through the wall multiple, multiple times. There was rot as well though. Well, oh, exactly. old rot from acclimation. 4.4 or something like that. And the, oh, there's all sorts of crap in there, weren't there? It was, I, it was know, nasty guys. It, it was nasty. It really was, yeah. I think the bottom of the, you know, the, the big Monstera that we like to call Tiny Boy. Yeah, we've named the Monstera Tiny Boy, guys. <laughs> Let me just have a little look at him. He, he lost a, a lot of roots during the acclimation, yeah, sort of conversion to leper, essentially. So they were all rotten underneath, so scooping all that lot out was just like sludge. That was real nice. We've also had major issues with water running down the sides of the girders. Can you see the, the grey girders at the sides? So obviously what we've got, we've got our, our plumbing. It runs up from the pump at the bottom, up the, up the side, straight across. Somehow the water had been finding its way down the back of the girder and just pissing right down behind the box and behind the liner and literally making a mess of the brickwork behind. Because obviously we've had people next door from the unit next door coming in telling us that they've got loads and loads of uh, damp just literally where the space, where the wall is. <laughs> So it's, like, well, it's not our wall. It's, it's not us. It's just yeah. in the exact place. So that, yeah, that, that was uh, a nice conversation, obviously. So after that, we've obviously had it through multiple, multiple times, like multiple liners, and we've eventually hit on this real thick stuff, which... That's thick. That, that's, that's way that's, thicker that's than the last thick, stuff. Yeah, and we've got methods behind there to stop it getting behind the liner. So it's a fingers crossed situation. But Yeah, this will be the first time we've really planted it since i don't know how long it's been unplanted it's two for. months two months i think so short yeah it's been a while now yeah yeah so that one's been sat there for ages now dude yeah it's been there a while yeah. god look at this shit on camera mm. looks so messy <laughs> it's not so bad it's, so it's bad. okay it's okay right okay all right what do you want <sighs> i don't know juicy veiny boys please join me in aisle one we kind of try, we talk about the aisles and we try and name them because if we have a conversation and neither of us are here, like over WhatsApp or something, we'll talk about a plant going, oh, can you check on that plant? It's like, where is it? So we've had to start saying like, it's aisle one, it's aisle three, except you don't know anything past aisle three. I don't know anything past two. <laughs> <laughs> so this is aisle one, this is aisle two. So this is the minute where we've moved all the anthuriums. I should have said that before. This is that aisle. I typically film in this aisle, by the way, if I just kind of stand here like that. This is where I typically film, so when you see me doing anything, that's where I'm at. But anyway, moving on. Do you have a favorite? I quite like this boy. That's nice boy as well. This uh, has got no, there's just, so many just, nice boys. Just grab one. I don't know which one to pick, help me. I suppose we've got one. What's my fucking plan? What, what, the one at the front that's nice and dark. This one? Yeah, the dark this boy. boy. Yeah. He's actually not at the front side. Is he not? No, oh. he's further back. There's too much stuff to choose from, dude. Well, are we wanting like, a lot of anthurium, like what we're feeling, what, what's... I think they tend to do well on the wall. They do, they like don't it. They? I don't know, we're gonna have to pick more than one plant though, dude. <laughs> um, this has got to come out. This is my Dark Lord from home that I've chopped the top off because cool. it got a bit, bit silly. Yeah, we like that one, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah, put this on because it's already in liquor, so... Okay, cool. Um, so I'll take that out of that. Obviously there's the plow money I had to go on, but that's the bottom. I'm not too worried about the bottom. Oh, there's a really gangly philodendron yesterday and I know what we've done with it. Gangly philodendron. Yeah, it was down there in a box. It's probably gone All right. up to the gods, as you call it. Yeah. Whenever we put something on the top shelf, it's, the gods. it's with the gods. One, because it's really high up. And two, because the chance of it dying, because we've forgotten about it, is really high. What about putting some Mexicanums on and stuff like that? Because we none of them on. Yeah, we can Wherever get those down. Yeah. We'll get them all down in a minute, I think. Okay. I need something massive for that gap. So if that anthurium covers it, great. But when that leaf goes, we've got a big gap again. Yeah. Do All we right, care? Well, what about the big Prince of Orange? The pool. Um, 
Will that look a bit weird? There will be one thing on the wall a little that's bit. orange. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Needs to be quite um, leafy and luscious. What about a macrolobium? Because they get huge. We could do that. I think we should put some macrolobiums on. Where Where's the lecker ones? Those is, are soil, is, right? Is that a lecker one over there? <gasps> oh, he's nice. Is he lecker? He's fucking he's soil. soil. Shit. <laughs> Hashtag plant haul. Yeah, boy. There you go. Yeah. He's, he's a little one, but he, he'll get bigger. Oh, he's yeah. from a, a botanic garden in Glasgow. He is, yeah. That makes it sound like we stole it, bro. It, it does a little bit. It wasn't. <laughs> it was a rescue. <laughs> There's a botanic garden closing down in Glasgow. I hadn't known you that long yet. No. And you basically, you got a call saying come and salvage what you want because it's closing Pretty down, much. which yeah. is really shit. But yeah. this is one of the things. Yeah. What is it, hybrid of? Hybrid of, it's Clarinovium and I think Pedoradiatum. Pedoradiatum. Yeah. It's nice, it's, it's very sexy. Nails. Yeah, they, they don't die. No. Um, been frozen, that particular one has been frozen in my polytunnel as well. Jesus, really? Yeah. Frozen? Mm hmm frozen. So guys, when we say plants are tough here, you need to believe us. Trust me, you need to believe us. Right. We'll okay. probably get a couple of paresos on the wall as well because they're just ridiculous. We've got one on. Um, that one up top, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that one. You what? Yeah, that one. Might as well get that Pariso as well when you're at it. To your left. This one? Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Okay. This boy here. Oh, yeah. wait, it's two different boys. Uh, well, that's right, I get it anyway. I don't necessarily want to do them both. He's quite large. He's do the got job. so He'll many do the job friends. Gap. Real nice, yeah. Got him? Oh my God. Dude, you're not prepared for this, or have you already seen it? Yeah, I can why, see it. Why is this stuck? What right. is it stuck on? Anything? Right, wow, okay, well... Uh, that's rooted. That's what we like to call well-rooted at the shop. <laughs> Anything else from up here? I, I think no. All right. Yeah, well, we'll get them on and see what it looks like, shall we? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bear my life that. It's like a safety thing, right? Yeah, five second delay or something, yeah. Are we, well, where is it going? Well, let's start with that big old gap, shall we? That's probably the... Yeah, we could do. The man, innit? How are we going to fix stiff stuff in? We haven't figured that out yet. Where's my Stanley knife? I'd say we could probably cable tie it on. There you go. Oh, Christ. That'll work quite well. We're cable tying. Yeah. I'm going to try and do it there, because it's quite large. I'll fill that gap reasonably nice. It'll have to go on a bit of an angle. Unless we do an extra pocket, we could make a pocket, tie wrap the pocket on. So about that yes, height. Yes, literally, yes. So really level with that doofy there, I will attempt to stick it to there. Okay. Watch out for there the epi, go. I can see a panatum there. Yeah. If there weren't so many bloody plants on here, I'd be able to see what I'm doing, dude. Well, you know, this is how it is. Well. 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 Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the most beautiful job I've ever seen. Seriously? Mm hmm Have you not seen it? It's like working blind. Yeah, I can as tell. Well. Yeah. Plant. Thank you. Have you got scissors? I'll just chop this dead shit. Scissors? Yeah. I have scissors. Maybe we could do some up there, I don't know what. Oh to be honest, yeah, I would quite like something here. We've got free pockets as well, look. Yeah. What about sticking him in that gap? There you go, we've already got a pocket for him. Boom. Morning. Smashed it. So glorious, I think we should put that on the bottom. Right. Like maybe over here. And let the little bitches crawl up through it all. Remember, so, big plants are going to be at some point. So I'm trying to think I'd rather go a bit higher. What's in there? Well, that'd be nice. Have him there. He would look great there. Right, how about we do like the Dark Lordy job? Right. There, and that, that'll pop him out quite well. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a, there's a huge gap there. Right. Agreed. The Dark Lord is kind of The gap tall. next to that little crystal, where we were going to put something and didn't. Yeah, yeah, that bit there. Yeah. Yeah, so if we, put, if we plant him like about there. Right. Because there is actually already a, something in there. I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, okay. But there's a bit of a gap there. I don't know how good his roots are, but I can probably extend that a little bit and away you go. Right. We've got this, I don't know if that's a mammae climbing, whatever the hell it is. I have no idea. Fucking nice. Not a clue. How, how do? How do? There's no pocket. Yeah, there's pocket a pocket for? there. So if he's in there like that, 
That fills that gap nice. It's it's not perfect because he's dark and the gap is dark, but right. he's is good. he nice? Is he hot? What do you reckon? He's sexy. Well, I can't really see because you're always in the way. Oh, he's nice, actually. Yeah. Okay, pal. Ugh. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. I just filled that nice gap. So... Yeah. Somewhere like yeah. that. Yeah! Oh my god, yeah! I love that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, happy with that one. I'll make a bit of a... a yeah, deep. it's pretty good. I hope I don't have to bloody water any more of these bags. Well, yeah. I think how I many, is it, how many bags is it going to take? <sighs> it's going to be all of it, isn't it? I well, know it is already, I can see. I've only done four, but that takes a while to do it anyway. Right. Oh, God. Yeah, this is going to take some filling. So we'll get this filled and then patch up the bottom once we know what is to patch up because then there'll be plants in the bottom is the current plan. Holy shit. Depends how deep we want it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh God. I think we put about, did we put about 20 bags in in the first place? 20, I don't know. I think it got filled when I wasn't here. Right. So I actually don't know. I think you were about 20. I had to make two trips to the pot shop. 20 bags of liquor, Jesus Christ. I might as well do them all. We're going to need them, aren't we? Yeah. I think we'll probably need a few more after that, but... Yeah? What are we going to do about that if we haven't got enough? Knife, please. Thank you. I find it to be one of the most boring jobs in the universe, this year. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's barbecue weather. Oh, don't. No, it is, isn't it? Oh. It's really nice and sunny. There you go. And oh, that's how you rinse out. lacquer. It's not foolproof. That's how we do it. It's <laughs> how Ben does it. It's yeah. how Ben does it. And the man in the pot shop. Pretty clear now. Yeah? Yeah. Nice clear water clear coming out. That should be enough. Do you want a Pepsi? Yes, please. Right, so. So, what have we got? We've got, because this is the thing. Mm. I need to illustrate my point here. Um, need my phone out, hang on. All right. So this is my issue. We've got the pump there, obviously, mm. but that's kind of like prime position to plant something. So something's going to have to be planted right there. So, that would have been the, wow, the do we, I do we, we want the, the weeks red there? Yeah, put the weeks then, back where it was because the big leaves will cover the pump. Oh, good. Yeah, okay, fair point, fair yeah. point. And then Plowmanii back where it used to live, but I think further out than what it was because we did tuck it right behind the monster. I think it can come out now. That way you mean? Be a bit more pride of place, yeah. All right, okay. Uh, after that, fuck knows. Yeah, we'll definitely get some tape on that. Yeah, we're going to tape that because Ben... No. Ben ruined it. It was bent. It was like that when we got it. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I've got footage. <laughs> I'll sort it then, shall I? Yeah, you do it all. All right. I don't just throw it in. <laughs> careful. I will be careful. Oh my God, it's huge. It is a big boy. He's so big. He's so pretty. So, what are you thinking? So... That depth or a bit higher or what? Maybe a bit higher. What do you think? Well, if we can get it to that level, maybe. See, planting the wall, guys, is very, very technical. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, the living walls, come on. Thank you. Yes. Any minute now, I'm going to get a bloody shower. Yeah, it, it's already showering. Oh, that's hitting me now. Uh, plow? Plow money, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, he's looking good, he boy. He's nerd, he? He's such a big boy. Yeah, these are the new ones. Yeah. In the tub. He's doing really well, dude. 
Oh, oh that's not a hazard. Oh. Do you want me to hold him while you plant? Because I feel like that's a good idea. I, I agree, yeah. Because he's crawling, so we need to yeah, keep him a bit higher. You got it. I want. I do think we need to anchor that weak thread. It is just we will, tipping. We will, we will. Yeah. So I'm thinking towards Oh, he's nice. Either there. On the wall are we talking about? Well, sort of in the wall at the bottom and they'll climb up. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah? Yeah. Make we can do it. We can cut, cut him in half. I think it's worth it. No. No? Should no. even be? Yeah. I just thought um, we could have we could have duplicated him. So if we cut him here, hmm. could have had them two in one little sprig, and then we could have put him up here. All right. I just don't think it's a bad idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So where do you think then? I think. There. Well, I was going to say here, but I think that's an easier cut. So. Okay. Yeah. Because well, yeah, if we cut it there, then we've got. Uh, we've got a growing point. Growing yeah. point there. Lots of aerials, etc. Well, yeah. Go on, and then we can put this part the somewhere side. else entirely because there's no gloriosum over here, and I think it'd be nice. Ready? Yeah. There you go. Oh, it smells nice. Mate, smell that. Oh, it's dude. like... But it smells nice, that. What does it smell of? Philodendron. <laughs> Keep thinking that I could have done something But now I'm left with an empty heart No making amends no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all How could I know there was no second chances Like dominoes, my life got really scattered You couldn't keep the door shut And now the frostbite's creeping in Cause I've been stone cold since you left me here So come home, why won't you Speak of the truth when it's tainted I fell into a big black hole It got me stone cold Okay, it's been a long day, has it not? So what's happened is, obviously, we've patched it. It's still not perfect. Some things look a bit janky, and that's just because when you plant them, obviously, they're used to growing in a certain way, and now they've just got on the wall like that. So things like this look a little bit odd, but they'll just find their way. So to be honest, this is gonna look better in like two weeks compared to what it does now, but it's fine. So we put some big veiny boys on here. He was already here, he's new. What other veiny boys have we got? Big veiny boy here. Oh, we put a Prince of Orange here to hide a big gap. I've been dotting about some Syngonium kind of all over the place. We have Tortum down here, Plowmanii here that does need raised because there's not enough liquor in it. So we need to bring this up when we get some more. Uh, what else? There's lots of shit really, but now I can't see any of it. Oh, we added some more Gloriosum. Oh, we patched up a little bit up here. There's some Monstera up there. There is there's a Dark Lord here. And that's kind of all we had to do. We didn't have to touch too much of it because so much of it was just okay in the first place. So that's it. And then obviously the rest of the unit is, I don't know if it looks dark now. Does it look dark? Not too bad. No, it's fine. So that's it for the day. And then come back in the morning. And I guess now that it's tidy and the wall's patched up, we'll film that tour. Yeah. Which, by the way, is now up. We're doing this back to front. Mm -hmm. So you will be able to watch the full tour of this place now because it's just too much to get done in one day, isn't it really? Yeah. So if you want to see a tour of this place in great detail, I will leave the link to that below and you can watch it. Until then, if there's anything specifically you want to see behind the scenes, just shit that we get up to here, please leave a comment down below and I will get my thinking cap on and we will film some stuff. Until then, thank you very much for watching this absolute scramble of a video and I will see you next week. Bye.